Okay, we get a two for one today. It is such a beautiful day and I've got two solar panels queued up. Uh, the second panel, and this is not sponsored, I won this in a contest fair and square from Blue Eddy. This is the PV200D folding panel. So this is uh, the midsize of, of their folding panels. Um, it's, it doesn't feel midsize, it's pretty heavy in this box. But this is, uh, I left it in the box just to show off the packaging. So this is the standard Blue Eddy packaging, even the solar panels come this way. This is double layer cardboard. Uh, let's see if we can maybe see all the foam and stuff in there. I'll, uh, I'll pull it out. Ugh. Okay, so we've got foam on the top. It's taped in. Sides are taped in. So we're going to have to cut some tape. And then the whole thing is bubble wrapped. Bloody means business with their packaging. And that all came off rather nicely. Okay, so this is the PV200D. Very nice logoing. This is also an ETFE panel. They got a little pocket here. has a MC4 cord and all of the panel specifications. I will post a picture of that. But this pocket is easily big enough to put the rest of your cords in. I have uh, my AC2A and AC180 over here. Um, it's got kickstands with angle marks and adjustable snaps. And that is snapped down rather firmly so you can Adjust the angle, pick your desired stop point with the snap on it. So we're probably going to be, well, it's 35. The season right now is uh, the sun's at 35 degrees here in Kentucky. So let me uh, take this guy open. My little table here is obviously not going to be large enough for it unfolded but uh, there's it unfolded so I'm gonna sit this sit, sit my table aside put this down in the grass and let's see how difficult it is to set this guy up other way lay it on its face so I can pop the it's got three legs and they all have the same little adjuster snaps so I will set them all to the second from the top nope I set that one at the top to lay it back further let's flip her up There we go. It's not bad at all. Let me scoot it back so it's not shading itself with any grass. Bring the cord out. Okay, so I am going to plug this into the AC2A. MC4. MC4. This panel has, I believe, a 24 volt open circuit, which is perfectly sized for even the smallest of the Blue Eddy power stations. And the AC2A will take 200 watts. So let's see what we get out of it here 134, 149, 
162, 171. Make sure I'm not shading the panel. 175 watts. That is impressive. Uh, maybe the sun picked up from what it was earlier when I started, when I came out here and set everything up. My main array with everything thrown out was making about 75% of panel rating, of total combined panel rating. And uh, that would have been about 150 watts. We're getting more than that. So uh, 174 watts on the AC2A. That is nice. Let's switch over to the uh, AC180. I've said it before and I'll keep saying it. Of all the power stations Blue Eddy makes, if you had to choose one as your do-all, fits-all, this is the unit I'm going to start with and then consider from there. The uh, AC180 is my recommendation. It was my first unit. I got it shortly after its product launch. You can carry it anywhere. It'll power about anything that uh, you can plug into a 120 volt outlet. Um, it has a reasonable charge rate, a 500 watt solar charge rate. It'll uh, charge pretty quickly from grid power if you would need to do that. It's, uh, it's kind of the all-in-one. So let's see what we're getting on the AC-180. 153 watts, oh, 158, 167, 173. Yeah, it's right there. So this is the, uh, again, the Blue Eddy PV200D. It's, uh, it's a lot wider than I thought it would be. It is very stoutly built. I will, uh, I'll get some handheld shots and paste them in here. Okay, here's up close. Nice molded handles. Solid laminated construction focus. There we go. Solid laminated construction. It's semi-flexible here out at the end, but this, the center is, is rigid. Stands, legs, straps. Has tie-down grommet holes on it. That is a very nice looking panel. So here's some more sort of impromptu testing. The uh, a little bit of clouds moved in up high. The AC180 is currently bringing in 154 watts on this panel. Let's do some shading tests. So I'm just going to move over here so I am blocking one panel. And I'm looking down to see what the AC180 says. 124 watts. So we went from 150 some to 124. Now if I extend my shading to a second, yeah that hurt it. 92 watts now. Can I broaden myself to partially shade three sections? So that's what I'm doing. 85 watts. So 85 watts with a significant part of partial shading. Now let me take all the shading away and see what, what the AC-180 does. Oh, the screen just timed out. We're back to the 150 something. So partial shading, not so bad. Even if you've got a whole panel shaded. 125 watts. What if I just do a corner? 130 something. If I back off a little further, just, just the edge there is now shaded. 151. Now it's all in the sun. 155. So, just so you know what to expect. Thanks for watching.